Dad, we talked about entanglement before. But how do we actually entangle two particles? Like, can we just tell them to sync up? Not quite, Steve. You have to create entanglement at the quantum level by forcing two particles into a shared state where their properties are mathematically linked. The most common method? Spontaneous parametric down conversion. That sounds like a move in Street Fighter. In a way, you shine a laser into a non-linear crystal. One high energy photon goes in, and the crystal emits two lower energy photons that are entangled. Their polarizations or spins will always correlate, no matter how far apart they are. So that's for photons. What about electrons? For electrons, you can use the Pauli exclusion principle. In atomic or solid state systems, when two electrons are in a shared quantum state, like in a singlet spin pair, their spins become entangled. If one is spin up, the other must be spin down. So you prep them together in a controlled system and then separate them? Exactly. Entanglement usually requires strong interaction, like sharing energy, spin, or position in a coupled setup, and then isolation to preserve the link. That's wild. Like giving two coins a secret handshake that sticks across the galaxy. Pretty much. But the trick is keeping them from decohering. Once they interact with the environment too much, that entanglement collapses.